Hi everyone, that's Tony and I have some really cool things to show you. Let's start with these new beautiful highlight effects available inside Thrive Architect starting today. These highlight effects will not only allow you to make your sites look much more attractive, but they will also help you make your headlines a lot more catchy, allowing you to draw your visitors' attention to your copy. Let me just show you some of the different styles that our design team has come up with and what you can do with them. Great, so I have a landing page that comes with Jaya, one of our themes since like Thrive Theme Builder. It's a pretty beautiful landing page, let me tell you. But let's just go ahead and highlight some of these, uh, some of these keywords in our H1 uh, heading. Let's just highlight all the rules. And as you can see, we have a new option underneath highlight. It's called highlight options. And first things first, let's just change the color of our highlight. Let's make it this orange so that it blends in really well with our current design. Great. And if I trigger this highlight options uh, drop down, you can see that I have a new variety of different highlight options that I can pick from. Let me just show you some of my favorite ones. For example, we can do a circle type of highlight and that will obviously draw a circle around our highlighted text. Let me show you a different one. Let's do wavy one. Wavy is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a cool one. Kind of really like that one, except the stroke for this one, it might be a little bit too wide. Let's just bring this down to three pixels. Um, let me just show you one more. Zigzag underline is a really cool one too. Perfect. And we can tell Thrive Architect, hey, I want you to, to display the zigzag underline um, on top of the text. And as you can see, that actually brought the animation and the actual highlight on top of the text that's underneath it. We may not want to do that. Let's just deactivate that option for now. And we can actually change the type of animation too, right? Right now, this animation is only triggering once, but we can change this to trigger to repeat on entry. Repeat on entry is going to essentially repeat the animation every time the uh, strike that is highlighted comes into the view, into the viewport. Um, or we can also do loop. Loop means that it's going to continually loop over and over again. Let's actually activate that option. And as you can see, we can tell Thrive Architect, hey, I want the actual animation to last, let's do 2000 milliseconds. And as you can see, the animation effect takes two seconds. And you can tell Thrive Architect, hey, I don't want you to wait 8,000 uh, 8, milliseconds before you loop the animation. Let's just loop it every three seconds. And that's going to loop the animation every three seconds. And what's even better, we can tell Thrive Architect, hey, I actually don't want you to trigger the animation on all of my devices, just desktop. And so if we take the highlighted text and we switch over to mobile view, it just completely disappears. And the same thing applies for tablet. As you've seen, applying highlight effects is as easy as just highlighting a string of text and picking out your animation effect. There's no need to mess around with different layers, nor margins, nor paddings. These highlight effects work out of the box with as many words as you want. Now, highlights are absolutely gorgeous, but I have one more Thrive Architect feature that I wanna show you. Starting today, all Thrive Architect users are going to be able to use gradients as font colors. Well, not just font colors, but you're going to be able to have your buttons and borders make use of gradients as well. And don't leave quite yet. I have two more things that I'd like to show you. If you're a Thrive Apprentice user, you can now set expiration dates for all of your courses. This means that if you give your course an expiration date, users will no longer be able to access the course that they've signed up for once it has expired. This is a great way of giving a free trial access to someone so that they can, you know, peek around your premium content and lock them out of your course or membership product and push them to pay for it once their access has expired. This is a very conversion focused and really useful feature that I'm sure many of you will be using. And last but not least, we're also rolling out hidden and archived courses. Hidden courses are courses that you can prevent from displaying on your homeschool page. 
and only users that get either manually added to them or users that were already there in the first place prior to you hiding the course or users that get added via a Thrive Automator automation will be able to see and access these hidden courses. Archived courses, on the other hand, are courses that you no longer wish to keep publicly offering, but you do want all of your enrolled users to be able to continue to access them without any issues. And well, I really hope you've enjoyed this new set of updates that are available starting today to all Thrive Suite users. Let me know down in the comment section below which feature you're going to immediately start using. And if you like these new updates, a big thumbs up button would be greatly appreciated. Remember that it's never too late to start building your online business with Thrive Suite. There's a link in the description box down below that you can click on for more information. I truly appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.